Okay, so our current MVC application has an interface named iBook that defines a method signature that returns a string called getBookInformation. We have two implementations. One's called Mystery that returns that string there, and another named Adventure that returns that string there. So in our home controller, um, this takes a iBook object as a parameter in the constructor. It stores it to a local variable. And then in our index action method, we get the result of the method and pass it to our view, which then displays it to the page. So if we go ahead and play this before we use an inject, we should get an error here. It says no parameter list constructor designed for this object, which is basically saying that that iBook parameter is not actually being passed in. So this is where we're going to use an inject. We're going to go to manage new guide package and search online for an inject. And we're going to choose to install Ninject MVC3. So this will install a couple of DLLs into our project. And once it's completed, we should see a new app start folder. And within there is our Ninject web common class. If we go to the very bottom, we'll see the register services method. And here is where we can register um, in interfaces with a corresponding implementation. So we're going to say wherever there's an iBook, um, pass in the implementation mystery, which we saw earlier. And so that's now done. Now if we play the project again, we should see that the mystery text is shown, which it is. If we instead say, oh, we don't want mystery to be passed anymore, but rather the adventure implementation, we can change it. And if we play again, we should see the adventure text once we refresh the page, which we do. And so this is um, a very, very quick way to get dependency injection via the Ninject API into your MVC web application. Thanks, guys.